Hey guys, it's the Whiskey King coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to talk about um, whiskey glassware, okay? Um, basically what this is going to be is an overview of the different types of glasses that I particularly like to use for tasting and nosing my whiskey as a connoisseur of, of scotch and bourbon and all those different types of whiskeys, right? Now first thing I'll tell you um, you don't need fancy glasses to enjoy whiskey. Um, you know, really all you need to enjoy whiskey, especially if you're a new whiskey drinker, um, is a bottle of whiskey <laughs> and a glass, right? Even something, you know, kind of basic. The difference is if you want to be a connoisseur of whiskey, um, for me, glassware is very important, okay? If you want to get into really... Um, the complexity of whiskeys, um, or if you really, you know, you just you want a glass that really is going to show off that whiskey because aesthetically, um, the aesthetics of looking at your whiskey is part of enjoying them if you're a connoisseur of them, right? So let's start right off the bat with probably the best known type of whiskey glasses, which is your old fashions, right? Those are the use right here. I'll move this over a little bit, right? Okay. Um, so you got your double old fashioned, okay? Um, obviously this is a crystal glass. I like crystal because part of enjoying your whiskey is looking at it, right? So, you pour it in, and you look at it in the light, you see it shine through that nice crystal. This is a big part of the whiskey drinking experience, right? Now, you have your single... I mean, sorry, you have this your double and your single, okay? You see one's a little bit bigger than the other one. It's because double old fashions are meant for mixing drinks, right? They're a little bit bigger, they can contain a little bit more, right? I like to use these for bourbon, mostly because I usually mix bourbon with stuff if I'm not drinking it straight. So, um, but you can use this for scotch too if you want to, or any other kind of whiskey. I usually use my single old fashions because they're smaller. They're not meant for mixing stuff unless you maybe put it over ice um, for my scotch because I always drink my scotch straight. All right? So those are a couple of the basic ones. Okay? And these are what I like to call these your everyday drinking glasses. Okay? Then you've got your more complex glasses. Okay? That are specifically meant for tasting whiskey um, as a connoisseur. Right? The most famous one in the world your Glencarn glass, okay? Now they've invented a few other glasses um, since the, the Glencarn glass that have supposedly been better, right? The neat glass is a very good example of this. Um, you can buy those on eBay today and they have them in a lot of bars because the neat glass was kind of engineered after the Glencarn glass um, to be a great glass for nosing whiskey. Um, I personally don't like the neat glass. It does do what it says it does. It gives you um, a great amount of nose to the whiskey, so you can really pick up on those flavors because, unlike a Glencon glass, and by the way, this is a, it's a regular Glencon glass. The neat glass is more kind of bolded up to the Canadian Glencon, Canadian whiskey glass, which is a, just a bigger version, and it's also got that lip that comes out. Neat glass lip comes out all the way it's a, it's a little bit thinner at the neck okay whole idea is for the nose of whiskey the problem with the neat glass is well kind of hard to drink out of with that lip coming out all the way Glencar glass the classic whiskey tasting glass this is the one i'd recommend the most just because it's the easiest to use i mean you can use the canadian one it spreads out the flavors a little bit more it's a little bit bigger um but I personally prefer this one. Holding your hand by that little nub at the end um, really allows you to kind of move the whiskey. Um, and the whole point of it is the way it's designed is to let the alcohol va um, vapors evaporate and let the flavors afterwards to come and concentrate up towards your nose. This is very good because whiskey drinking is so much about nosing it is more actually than it is about tasting it so those are our most basic ones now here's a couple other options i'll just give you um 
um, before we have to wrap up this video, right? Uh, one of the other things you can do, very kind of similar to the concept of a Glen car, is your snifter, right? Now, you, most people who have been in the uh, alcohol drinking world for a while, know this is a brandy glass, basically, or a cognac glass, but it's traditionally called a snifter. The reason is, is it's meant for kind of the same thing. It's meant for you to sniff the whiskey. Um, it spreads out, okay? Remember, um, whiskey nosing um, has a lot to do with spreading out, having more surface area to taste the whiskey through your nose, right? Um, so this is an option if you want to try it. Some people like it because you got a stem, okay? Um, a little bit easier to use. And then, of course, the other thing is a shot glass, okay? This is what we call heavy bottom shot glass. Okay. Now you might be saying to me, um, why would I want, as a connoisseur, to use a shot glass? It seems like the least fancy way to drink whiskey ever. Well, shot glass is not a bad way to drink whiskey. Okay, uh, It's just a different way. Um, it can be very beneficial to you um, because it, the flavors hit your mouth in a different way. Um, they hit, hit it much faster, right? So this gives you a different taste of the whiskey, in my opinion, right? So I don't. I think you can drink whiskey any way you want. If you want to put it over the rocks, you want to put it in a mix, you want to shoot it. Doesn't matter to me as long as you enjoy it. Thanks, guys. That's all for now, and uh, I will see you next time.